I'm going to share with you two different things. One is how to sleep at night, the other is how to de-stress your spine. First of all, I want to show you how to de-stress your spine. What you'll do is you take a bath towel, you'll fold it in half like this. And then you'll take it and fold it into little rectangles. Okay, so fold it so it's about six inches or five inches across. And then you get it at about three or four folds and you're going to try this. The excess goes under your hips and legs. This part goes under the small of your back. Go ahead and lift up your hip. And then what she's going to do is she's going to rest her back on it. She's going to see if this feels comfortable. If it's too high or too low, she'll shift it so that way it feels right. Your body will tell you whether or not it's right because you want it right. Where it feels comfortable in the low back, if this hurts, that's your body talking to you. It trumps what I say. Stop doing it. If it hurts in a good way, it feels like it's productive, you can kind of listen to that. But there are times where, no, something's wrong, I don't like this, you got to listen to that. Now, is that in the right position? You want it higher or lower? Perfect. Perfect. So if she would have said, no, that's, I don't feel it's not doing anything, we would have taken it out, folded it into a bigger fold, so that way it's putting more pressure. So for this passive traction, the goal is to actually make a difference in the spine, to actually traction the spine. And for her neck, I'm going to have her lift her head up. And this one, instead of folding, I roll it. So you can see that it was folded in half lengthwise, and then I started to roll it. And you want to have it in enough of a height that it doesn't take her head off the table, but it does put traction into the cervical spine. And then you'll push it down towards the shoulder. So go ahead and lift your head. Go ahead and let your head back. You can see that that's in the correct position because it's snug up against the shoulders and it's not pushing on the atlas or the skull. Does that feel comfortable? It's a little too big. Too big. So for her, for passive traction, we want to take it out and what she'll do is she'll unroll it and then try it again. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Good. And you'll notice the excess goes upward and so it goes above the head. One of the things that you can do for this to help you in the beginning is do it for about five minutes. Once you get in a routine, you can go up to 15 or 20. The time of day that I recommend is at night. So once you get home from work or school, you go home, and instead of doing chores or doing your busy work around the house and just staying you know, in the zone, I recommend you come out of it and you relax your body. Just the fact that you would have relaxed your body helps you. Also, de-stressing your spine can give you a second to catch back up and allow your body to self-correct because it takes the tension and the stress out of your spine and starts to relax, plus it helps with what I call plastic deformation, which is changing the spine. So when your spine is crooked or twisted and you've got anterior head carriage where your head's forward, or worse, a reverse cervical curve where your head's going, your neck's going in the wrong direction, you put a rolled towel on your neck to try and change that because it takes pressure off your brain stem and your spinal cord. So this is actually making a change right now. Now I want to explain to you how to sleep. So instead of sleeping with this folded towel on your back, you're going to take that out because you don't want to sleep with this like this, and you want to put a pillow on your knees. I would just take the regular pillow that you use, or a small one like this, or you can take two pillows, put it on your knees and it should feel right. And the way to look at this is, if you take your elbows and you just put them into full extension, and then lay on the bed and try and sleep, that would get annoying towards your arms, your body wouldn't like that, and eventually you're going to bend your arms because it's more comfortable. It's the same thing with the knees, your body doesn't want to have them bent, or straight all night long, so you'll tend to turn to your side. This breaks part of that habit of turning to your side in the middle of the night to get pressure off of the back of your knees. So this will help you stay on your back and help gravity help you. This is not how you want to sleep with this rolled towel in the traction level, you want, or in the passive traction level. You want to take this and unroll it a little bit, so that way it's comfortable enough, that it feels right, and that you can sleep the whole night that way. So in the beginning I recommend starting small, and then unrolling it a little bit, put the excess under your head, let it go up towards the headboard, and see if that's comfortable. It shouldn't be doing traction, it should be just there for support. Some people can't do that because they have such far anterior head carriage that they got to have a pillow. I recommend, recommend trying this and seeing if it's tolerable, because what I've done, and for several people what they found is, you can do this one night, and then you go back and try your pillow, and it feels like your head's too far forward which means innately your body's craving this position, it's taking pressure off the nerve system, it's beneficial. So you, you wouldn't use a pillow in that situation. For some people, they gotta have a pillow under their head and they gotta roll it up under the, under the neck so that way it's pushing. So instead of using a towel where you roll it under the neck, 
you would use a pillow that's supporting your head and then roll that and tuck it under so there's some support for the neck. Because again, you want the neck to go forward, you don't want it to sag at night. Because when it's sagging backwards, because under the support of the head and the shoulders, the neck will tend to sag, which puts tension on the cord. You want to have support for that. You don't want to be tractioning it. The pillow again, if you don't need it, you're going to be better off because anterior head carriage where your head's forward, you put a pillow under that, you just continue to support that concept. You want to get your head back, so why not use eight hours of sleep at night to have your head back by your shoulders where it's supposed to be anyways, and then put that small towel to support your neck. Highly recommend that you try this. If you can't do it and it, you get stuck on this, what I recommend is at least try it 15 minutes in the beginning of every night and eventually you may change your habit. Another concept, because I slept on my stomach most of my life, use pillows on either side or both sides of your face to trick your brain into thinking that you're on your side. It also blocks out light, so that way if you do have a light room, one of the reasons I couldn't ever sleep was because it's light. And my brain had been programmed over the years of sleeping on my stomach that light was not a time to sleep because when I'm on my stomach, it's dark, that's the time to sleep. Well, you can trick yourself and reprogram your brain by tricking it to thinking that you're on your stomach by putting a heavy pillow on both sides. That, in a nutshell, is what I recommend. If you have questions, let us know. We love to help you sleep on your back because that's the best position if possible. Again, your body will always trump what I say. If it's in pain, discomfort, it's trying to talk to you, that's one of the best things that I can do for you is to help you get connected with your body because that's going to be your best bet at figuring out your issues and your ability to heal. Thank you.